John Boyinger, unhappy with his Anuvos First Order helmet. Welcome to the Force Awakens costume overview. The original costumes from the film were designed by Michael Kaplan and were photographed on display at the El Capitan Theatre in Hollywood on the 4th of January, 2016. Apparently the inspiration for the new look stormtroopers came from simplifying their iconic design and thinking about what would Apple do to make the soldiers armor sleeker and updated. The revised stormtroopers are illustrative of Kaplan's general approach to the new film's approximately 1,500 costumes, which had to retain the spirit of the original films while also showing the passing of three decades, both in fictional and real-world technology. In the case of the stormtroopers, that meant a smoother silhouette but also construction more suited to battle than their 70s counterparts. For the film's villain, the Vader worshipping Kylo Ren, Kaplan had the job of evoking the past without directly copying it. Kylo Ren feels a kinship with Darth Vader, so there is a bit of emulation, he says. Particularly in the mask, for which a Bram's specification was that Kaplan create something that would make a child want to see the movie. The most striking costume revealed thus far was never originally supposed to be used. The elegant silver armor of Captain Phasma, a First Order officer played by Gwendoline Christie, started as just a whim of Kaplan's. I love the idea of taking a stormtrooper into the world of armor, he says. It was just something I had in my head. The concept artist took my sketch and came up with a really beautiful illustration. I loved it and hung it on the wall of our design room. One afternoon producer Kathy Kennedy came by and pointed at it and exclaimed, that is fantastic. JJ loved it as well, so he created the role of Captain Phasma to wear it. The Flame Trooper was a variant of the Storm Trooper used by the First Order around 30 years after the Battle of Endor. The troopers utilized incendiary weapons and wore white armor. Their helmets featured glare reduction. Note the scratched left shoulder armor. The original storm troopers were vacuum formed, says Kaplan. The process required a much thinner plastic to be heated and molded. These are much harder, cast in polyurethane, so they don't crack. They're much tougher materials, plus they have more flexibility. This is the Retro Woody Channel, thank you for watching. New York, Paris, London, Los Angeles, Madrid. Retro where's my 50 quid, uh, come on. About time. Cheers. Where's my $70? I need a new pair of knickers.